pin it to Pinterest's Doxy United, Cameron Whitman. Although roasting an entire chicken takes time, it can be easier. Check out this guide to roasting the perfect chicken. When I roast a whole chicken, I line the bottom of the roasting pan with potato wedges, onions, and carrot chunks to cook with the chicken. Allow your chicken to rest for 15 minutes after it has finished roasting before cutting. 10 Simple Dinner Ideas for Real-Life Healthy Eating You might believe that making nutritious, delicious dinners at home is a difficult task, but I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be. Even though I love eating and enjoy cooking, I prefer to keep mealtime simple. This includes selecting dishes that are simple to prepare and do not need intricate cooking skills or endless stages. Here are some of my favorite quick supper dishes to help you get a healthy meal on the table. 1. Sweet Potatoes Stuffed Sweet potatoes are high in nutrients such as beta-carotene, vitamin C, potassium, and fiber. They're also delicious and go well with almost anything. This makes them the ideal foundation for a much dinner. We make stuffed sweet potatoes at least once a week in my house. I roast a full sweet potato before stuffing it with sautéed vegetables, beans, chicken, and cheese. This dinner is quite adaptable, with many taste combinations available. You can follow one of the basic recipes below or wing it and layer your favorite stuff on top of roasted sweet potato. 2. Bowls for Grains Grain bowls are a big hit at my house. My husband and I enjoy how simple and versatile grain bowls are and make them when we want a great yet quick lunch. Because I am gluten-free, we use gluten-free grains such as quinoa and brown rice. Grain bowls can be made with any grain you like, including farro, millet, and barley. Grains are an excellent source of fiber and other minerals such as magnesium. Grain-rich diets have been associated with a lower risk of various health issues, including colon cancer, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes, according to research. Then sprinkle it with olive oil and lemon juice or top it with a store-bought or homemade dressing. This green goddess Buddha bowl, for example, is made with brown rice, roasted broccoli, sugar snap peas, avocado, hard-boiled eggs, toasted pumpkin seeds, and a creamy yogurt-based sauce. 3. Frittatas with lots of vegetables. When you raise hens as I do, eggs are used for more than breakfast. We use eggs as a protein source in quick and delectable dishes like frittatas. Eggs provide enough healthy fat and protein, so all you need to do is add a selection of your favorite vegetables to meet your fiber requirements. Asparagus, spinach, sweet potatoes, zucchini, onions, broccoli florets, mushrooms, and tomatoes are some of my favorite vegetables to add to frittatas. To enhance the flavor of your frittata, add things such as cheese, herbs, spices, or pesto. In your frittata, you may even use leftovers like fish, shredded chicken, and potatoes. I like to serve frittata with avocado slices or fresh fruit. It's a hearty dish that may be had at any time of day or night. Frittatas are simple to cook and may be ready in under an hour. 4. Salad for dinner. A huge, hearty salad is one of my go-to dinners, especially when like cooking. The trouble with most salads is that they are constructed, and you wind up feeling hungry again soon after you complete your meal. The secret to making a filling dinner salad is to add enough protein, healthy fats, and fiber. Begin with your preferred greens, such as spinach, mixed greens, arugula, kale, or romaine. To increase the fiber content of your greens, mix in some peppers, cucumbers, carrots, broccoli, or red onions. Then select a protein source, such as grilled chicken, shrimp, salmon, or hard-boiled eggs. Including a fiber-rich carbohydrate item, such as beans or roasted sweet potatoes, will increase the fullness factor even further. To add crunch, sprinkle with toasted sunflower or pumpkin seeds, then drizzle with a healthy dressing like olive oil and balsamic vinegar, or make this homemade green goddess dressing. 5. Brown rice spaghetti loaded with vegetables. Most people like a delicious pasta dish, but most pasta dishes lack the crucial components to keep you full, such as protein and fiber. A few basic strategies can help you prepare a filling and nutritious pasta dinner. First, select your pasta. Tinkyada brown rice pasta is my favorite, but you may use any pasta you choose. If you're on a low-carb diet, you can also use zucchini noodles for pasta. Choose a protein source next. I like to use chicken breast or ground chicken, or chickpeas for plant-based protein. Next, select your vegetables. I enjoy a traditional spinach and cheese combination. 6. Soups that can be made in a single pot. Few meals are more filling than a hot bowl of soup. 
Soup is a quick and easy meal prep option because it can be made in large batches. I enjoy creating soups that take one pot since it saves me time cleaning up. I make my soups on the stovetop, but you may save time by making any of the following recipes in an instant pot. 7. Curry. Curry is an excellent choice for a quick and filling dinner because it is adaptable, simple to prepare, and furthermore, eating curry daily may assist improve your health by lowering heart disease risk factors such as excessive triglyceride and blood sugar levels. During the winter, I enjoy making a warming chickpea and sweet potato curry and serving it over rice or quinoa. 8. Burgers are delicious. Burgers are an excellent choice for families because they are simple to prepare and will meet even the most discriminating palates. Although beef burgers are popular, burgers can be made from almost any protein source, including ground chicken, salmon, tuna, and lentils. My husband cooks an excellent chicken burger, which I serve with a huge salad and roasted sweet potato fries. To suit your dietary preferences, serve your burgers on a loaf of sturdy whole grain bread, in a lettuce wrap, or on top of a bed of greens. 9. Pin it to Pinterest Stocksy United, Cameron Whitman. Although roasting an entire chicken takes time, it can be easier. Check out this guide to roasting the perfect chicken. When I roast a whole chicken, I line the bottom of the roasting pan with potato wedges, onions, and carrot chunks to cook with the chicken. Allow your chicken to rest for 15 minutes after it has finished roasting before cutting. I hope the above knowledge will be of some help to you, your friends and family. Wishing you and your family good health with loved ones and friends. Thank you for watching the video. If you find this video useful, please like and share to help more people know. Any questions please leave a comment below the video. Please click subscribe and press the notification bell to support me. Lolo.